everyone. My name is Isi, and I'm from Singapore. I'm 23 years old this year, and my major is Visual Communication Design. So I'm a year two now in Hong Kong University. And because I'm an international student, I currently live alone. You can see bits and pieces of my home at the back. It's not very small. Uh, it's not very big, but yeah. This is where I live. And my bed, my toilet, and yes, my kitchen. So today I'm going to show you how I cook spaghetti because I live alone, so I cook a lot. It, to save money, yeah, like woes of an international student, no money, so we have to save money. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to cook spaghetti. So, the ingredients that I use are tomatoes, uh, some mushrooms, and ham at the bottom, garlic, chopped garlic because I'm lazy. <laughs> And then, of course, the main ingredients are like ready-made spaghetti sauce and spaghetti! And I personally like my spaghetti to be sweet, so I have sugar and salt for when I cook the spaghetti. So right now, you can see like the water is boiling. So I'm gonna cook the spaghetti now. So I like to put salt when in the boiling water because I don't know I just like read it somewhere so yeah put some salt and then it starts boiling because you know there's like the scientific explanation so put some spaghetti This pot is a little small, so I'll probably have to like push it down afterwards. So, yeah. And the one bad thing about me cooking is, although I live alone, I always cook like as if for as it <laughs> as if I have like a whole family to fit. But no, <laughs> I'm not secretly married, or or no, do, neither do I have kids that I have to feed. I just like to cook, just that I don't really estimate well. Okay, I think that's enough spaghetti. So I'm not gonna show you how the spaghetti becomes, so I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so this pasta is, is done cooking. And yeah, you know, you guys know how like this the well, Don't throw it away because you can keep some of it and then you can add that water into the gravy because there's like leftover starch that came out from the pasta so I'm just gonna use this cup and fill it up with that leftover water. So now I'm gonna start cooking the sauce for the pasta. So uh, oh I forgot to mention that I added a bit of oil over the strained spaghetti so that it doesn't stick together. Yeah, so now now that the pan is hot, I'm just gonna add some oil. Okay, that's not some, that's quite a lot anyway. <laughs> so yeah, and then garlic. Okay, I can't do this. Oh, oh now that's too much. Okay, you didn't see that. <laughs> I personally love garlic, so this is a lot of garlic, but yeah. <laughs> you can put like as much as you like to eat. Yeah, and then let it turn brown. See, like this, it can keep the thing brown. Now it's a bit brown. Okay, no, it's burnt. <laughs> but yeah, let's add. I can't do cooking with the camera in my hand, but yeah, add the mushrooms and ham. And then to cook it first. And 
can add more oil if you want to. Seasoning so that it tastes better. Oh my God. I really can't cook with a camera in my hand, but yeah, I'll try. I'm trying my best. And then add the tomatoes. The only reason why I have tomatoes today is because I've bought tomatoes, but then it has been in the fridge for so long, so yeah. Survival tip number one, use anything you have in your fridge and just add it in so that you don't waste your food. Okay, now I'm gonna add the pasta sauce. Okay. If there isn't enough sauce, you can add it on later. And some sugar. Okay. For me, I like sweet. It's to be sweet and then... Remember the pasta water? Yeah, you can add like a bit of it inside and then yeah, it kind of starts to thicken. Okay, so like you can turn it down to lower heat and then simmer the sauce and then you see that it has become like thick, a bit thicker so and this is done so I'm gonna transfer it to my plate. Just pour it over your pasta and yeah. all of it. And oops, this one dot. Ta da! So, right now I'm gonna eat my spaghetti. Yay! Actually, this is take number two because I didn't take it, took it very well the first time. But anyway, just imagine that the spaghetti is not in a mess. I've already started, but anyway, I'm gonna twirl it and then. Time for a taste. Mmm, yummy! Yay! Success! So, if you like cooking like me, um, we can share cooking tips with each another in class. No, with one another in class. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. Although, I think I didn't really do a good job cooking with the camera in one hand. So, yeah, but it's my first time doing it and it was fun. So, see you guys in class. Bye!